time we ended the video thinking or uh, raising the question, does the fetus have the right to the use of the mother's womb? And then the next question is, how would it acquire that right? Now, here's one way, and this is going to be the pro-life objection. Okay, so the next part of the handout says, the fetus acquires this right. So the blank is going to say right. If the mother had sex knowing the possible consequences of pregnancy. So in most cases, abortion is still wrong. Now, how does that work? Well, I mean, well, I guess it's straightforward, right? Um, the, the fetus gained the right to the use of the mother's womb because the mother kind of, by having sex, um, knowing that you might get um, pregnant as a result, okay, that knowing that the fetus is going to be put in that position gives the fetus the right to the use of the womb, okay? So that that makes the fetus different from the violinist or um, Henry Fonda, um, yeah, okay? So that, that's going to be the pro-life objection. And then Thompson is going to respond with a bunch of funny scenarios. So I think you should uh, read this toward the bottom of section 4, and this is going to be on page 317. Uh, normally I have my students read it together and we all laugh awkwardly, uh, but she's going to discuss some cases, okay? Uh, um, and uh, I, I want you to re just read page 317, the, the largest uh, paragraph. Um, actually, I'll, I'll just read it. Uh, so starting with the third sentence of the main paragraph of page 317, um, it says, uh, suppose you're in a room, okay, if the room is stuffy and I therefore open a window to air it and a burglar climbs in, it would be absurd to say, ah, now he can stay, she's given him a right to the use of her house, for she is partially responsible for his presence there, having voluntarily done what enabled him to get in, in full knowledge that there are such things as burglars and that burgle, burglars burgle. Okay, it would be still more absurd to say this if I had had bars installed outside my windows precisely to prevent burglars from getting in, and the burglar got in only because of a defect in the bars. Uh, it remains equally absurd if we imagine it is not a burglar who climbs in, but an innocent person who blunders or falls in. Okay, so in each of these uh, burglar or innocent person cases, uh, opening a window, especially if you have bars up, that doesn't mean you're giving the right to someone to the use of your stuff. Pretty simple. Opening a window does not give you give a burglar the right to the use of your stuff, especially if you have bars up. Okay, uh, let, let's uh, let's. So those are the first three cases. And an innocent person who uh, that's uh, the case C. An innocent person who accidentally accidentally stumbles into your house doesn't have the right to the use of your stuff. Okay, he's uh, she's going to give a couple more cases. Um, I'm going to keep reading. Again, suppose it were like this. People seeds drift about in the air like pollen. People seeds, they're little seeds that sprout people. And if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. You don't want children, so you fix up your windows with fine mesh screens, the very best you can buy. As, you can, as can happen, however, and on very, very rare occasions, does happen, one of the screens is defective, and a seed drifts in and takes root. Does the person plant now, who now develops have a right to the use of your house? Surely not, despite the fact that you voluntarily opened your windows, you knowingly kept carpets and upholstered furniture, and you knew the screens were sometimes defective. Okay, so what is she saying? Okay, well, you kind of get what she's getting at. Um, I mean, the house is going to be like the mother's body. Um, the mesh is kind of like a condom. The people seeds are like you know, sperm, okay, and um, now the the thing is, okay, if, um, here, you sh it should be pretty clear that you are not, um, give the, the, these people seeds don't suddenly have the right to the use of your house, just as the burglars didn't have the right to your house, use of your house, especially if you had these mesh screens up, okay, so what's the mesh screen case like? It's kind of like a case of uh, protected sex or a case of sex with birth control, Okay, so um, what she's pushing is, uh, even if there is no birth control, okay, but especially in the case that there is birth control, um, you're clearly not giving the use of 
uh, you're not giving the fetus the use of the mother's womb. Um, that, that, that's the point she's trying to make. Uh, so, alrighty. Um, so that's how Thompson deals with that objection, I guess. Got it.